The Battle of Corbrin was one of the battles of the invasion of Poland. It was fought between 14 and the 18th of September 1939, between the German 19 Panzer Corps of General Heinz Guderian, and the improvised Polish 60th Infantry Division Corbrin of Colonel Adam Epler. It was fought concurrently with the Battle of Brzezisk Litwski. Chapter 1 Eve of the Battle For a detailed description of the situation prior to the Battle C, Battle of Brzezisk. After breaking through the Polish defenses in the Battle of Wisna, the German forces under General Heinz Guderian started to make their way towards Brzezisk, Kowal, and Korbrin. Their aim was to cut the Polish territory in two parts and paralyze the Polish attempts to organize a line of defense east of the Bug River. Chapter 2 Battle On 14 September 1939, elements of the 19th Panzer Corps reached the area of Brzezisk and Korbrin. Brzezisk was defended by a small force under General Konstanty Pysowski while Korbrin was defended by the improvised 60th Infantry Division of Colonel Adam Epler. In the early morning of 14 September Colonel Epler received a report of German forces entering the area. Elements of the German 19 Panzer Corps were advancing rapidly and Epler suspected that the Germans would advance on the towns of Brzezisk and Korbrin, as well as toward an important railway node located in the village of Jabinka. To probe the enemy forces, he ordered the 2nd Battalion of his 84th Infantry Regiment to commence a delaying action in the area of Jabinka train station and the villages of Twela and Ogroniki. At the same time, the 2nd Battalion of 83rd Infantry Regiment was ordered to organize a defensive line along the swampy shores of Trishnica River to cover the eastern flank of the Polish forces in the area of Brzezisk, some 30 kilometers westward. On 15 September the German 3rd Armoured Division encountered and destroyed a column of the 9th Reserve Light Artillery Depot. However, Epler's forces were not spotted until late evening of that day, when they were bombarded by the Luftwaffe. The following day the main force of the German 19 Corps arrived. The 2nd Battalion of the 84th Infantry Regiment together with an armoured train organised an ambush and attacked the Germans who were supported by a battery of artillery. Following six hours of combat, the Germans were forced to retreat with significant casualties. The Polish battalion seized several guns and tanks, but had to burn them due to lack of fuel and then retreated toward the main line of Polish defences. At dawn on 17 September 1939 the reconnaissance units of the German 2nd Motorized Infantry Division finally reached the Polish lines. After a short skirmish, the Poles withdrew behind the defensive positions guarded by the 2nd Battalion of the 83rd Infantry Regiment. The Germans then tried to outflank the Poles by attacking the cemetery in the village of Trekowis, but were repelled with light losses, mostly due to direct fire from the Polish 100mm howitzers. The 2nd Motorized Division lost three or four armored cars and was forced to retreat. The Polish battalion withdrew towards the village of Pioski, where it organized another ambush. In the afternoon it was again attacked by the elements of German 2nd Motorized Division, but this assault was also repelled. The 17th of September also marked the beginning of the Soviet invasion of Poland. Overnight, the Polish forces fighting in the Battle of Brzezisk were withdrawn to the other side of the Bug River and joined the forces of Independent Operational Group, Polish under General Franciszek Kleberg. Elements of the Polish forces arrived at Korbrin, but the defense of the area lost much of its strategic significance. Colonel Epler decided to defend the area as long as possible, and then retreat southwards, following the General Kleberg's forces. The main battle for Corbrin began on 18 September 1939. Early in the fighting, the Germans managed to capture the Gubernia I and Gubernia II manorial farms, which were protecting the road to Bereza Kartuska and closing the approach to main forces of the Polish division. A counter-attack by Polish forces from Korbrin forced the retreat of the Germans from one of the manorial farms, but it was later recaptured. Fierce combat broke out near the Queen Bona Canal. The Germans were unable to seize complete control of Korbrin on September 18 because of Polish army resistance, resulting in an impasse. 
During the day, Polish patrols and units of the Eastern Wing of Independent Operational Group Polesia came into contact with advanced units of the Soviet Army 23rd Rifle Corps in the area of Lunyaniec. Faced with the knowledge of the broader Soviet invasion of Poland pouring in from the front line and specific reports from units of IOG Polesia encountering advanced units of Red Army forces. General Franciszek Kleberg amalgamated all units of IOG Polesia under his command with the improvised 60th Infantry Division and withdrew to the south towards the Pinska marshes in the area of Dywin. The headquarters of Go Polesia was relocated from Pinska to Lubisau, at present Lubshiv in Ukraine. With the withdrawal of Polish forces, the battle for Korbrin came to an end.